welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share a few books with you while I'm back at my family home in Cambridge in the UK and several of these I actually, four of these I purchased from my local Oxfam shop. They have a really really good book selection and they had buy one get one free on reference books and so four books cost me just seven pounds. It's amazing. The first one I've got was the Marks and Spencer's Beautiful Britain and it's a journey through the most vivid and enduring landscapes of our islands. In an ideal world, I'd be placing this down on the surface, but the contraption I'm using to film this will wobble constantly. So I'm actually going to try and handhold it as best as I can. But this book is absolutely beautiful. It has so many... Oh, look at the light on that image. So many photos that could be used as reference images if you want to draw paint, sketch, colours, the scenes. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm really excited about this one. Actually, I might do that one today. As you know, if you caught my video, my last video was what I'm doing throughout January, um, like my January art practice. Look at these boats. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Really big, clear images, photos that I can draw from. And yeah, that's definitely a winner. And that's the, oh, sorry, see, I told you it's a bit risky. Beautiful Britain, um, and it's a book published by Marks and Spencers. The next one I got was Glorious Britain, and I think this one was three pounds. And it literally has images, it's very old, I think it was from like 1979. And the images, the photos in it are quite old. Um, as you can see, they look old. You see the people walking around and the clothes look like they're wearing something from the 70s. I think it was 1979. Um, first published in Great Britain, 1976, sorry. So it's all like very old school 70s, these guys in a pub. And it's just got some really lovely photos in of places that, oh, I love this one. This man on a boat. I think it's just full of more photos from the 70s. The guys playing their rugby old cottages. Look at that steam train. <laughs> so again, it's another book that's got some like cute little details in. I might try and take this one back to the Netherlands. It's quite small. The third one I got was The Ever-Changing Woodlands. And I think this one again was three pounds from the charity shop. And about, I think it was also from like the 70s, late 70s, early 80s. It has this, I didn't even notice that actually, a little butterfly guide. I'm not sure where that came from. And it's from 1984. And it has, look, oh, the mammals of deciduous woods. Trees, birds, nightingales, eggs, birds being fed, oh, woodland hawks. So as well as like little illustrations, it also has the photos. Looks like he's got a pigeon for dinner. Um, wasps, bees, insects. Ooh. The tree trunk plays host. Winter thriving woodland mosses. And I think it's just a great little book for, um, look at those illustrations to use as source material for referencing. So I'm excited about this one. I'll, let me just find the contents for you. So it covers trees, flowers, insects, birds and mammals. And it has a list of the contributors who presumably contributed photos and information. And I think, oh, look at those. So cute. <laughs> look at this little chap down here. And the little um, hedgehog, my sister-in-law and brother are homing a hedgehog at the moment because it was too small during the early winter and it wouldn't have survived hibernation. So I got to see him um, earlier in the week. I will put a video insert of, or a photo. Look at the birds. So I'm really excited about this one. I think this will be a nice little reference one. It's quite weighty. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll make it back to the Netherlands with this one because I also got books for Christmas, but those would be in a separate video. Now this one might be a bit too hard for me to hold in one hand, but this is another one from the charity shop called Giants of the Sea, Creatures of Fascination. This one was £4. 
and as I said they were buy one get one free so I ended up paying seven pounds in total and it's just absolutely fabulous I'm going to put it down and attempt to not jiggle you everywhere so that you can see it more clearly and I'll just be really careful in turning the pages oh <gasps> but look Look at a walrus! I love this. I'm going to draw this before I head back to the Netherlands. Unless I take it with me. Look at the walrus. And the walrus. And the walrus. Cook, cook, choo. <laughs> Look. Look at all the detail. This is why I have a macro lens on my camera. Not the camera I'm using now, but my actual camera camera. I've always used a macro lens instead of a standard one because I just love close-up details. I find it fascinating. <gasps> Aren't they brilliant? <laughs> I'm so excited by this book. Look at that. So that's the ooh, Giants of the Sea. And actually, so those were the four that I purchased. But one thing that it reminded me of is that I have this amazing book here at my dad's. Now, this was bought by my mum and dad for me oh, probably a good 10 years ago now. It's really heavy, maybe even longer. I'd seen it in a bookshop and I really wanted it and they wanted to know what I wanted for Christmas and I said oh, I would love this book. It's really weighty, it's why it's still here because carrying this back to the Netherlands would like use up my weight allowance. But it is full of the most incredible images, look at that. Is that not amazing? It's a noctoid moth caterpillar from Kenya. Oh my goodness, look at that. <gasps> Whoa. A camouflaged orchid mantis. This one is one of my favourites. You can see it has a piece of paper where I've tried to draw it many times. It's absolutely fabulous. It's a mantis, an ambush predator. Their spiky front legs can flick out and trap prey. Oh, and the colours. Like you could easily use something small like this as just a colour palette. Oh, isn't it magical? I love this book so much. I actually lost um, it for a little while. I, one of the, I used to nanny. So actually it's really old actually. When I borrowed it for something and then that had gotten um, commandeered by a different boy of the same family. Look at this, you can only just see him. He's so well camouflaged. Um, it's a cat he did. And I don't know if that's how you say it right. And I found it when I was staying over. I was staying in one of the brother's rooms because they were at university and I just saw it on the shelf. I was like, what, that's my book? And it still had my like, little bits of paper in. So I reclaimed it and I'm so glad because I thought I'd lost it. Isn't it fabulous? Look at this. Like, what is this? It's a male hornbill. <laughs> so this one is a real favorite of mine. So those are five books that I'm really excited about. Four that I just purchased on this trip in January to the UK. And then this one is one that I found out to share with you. So I'm not sure which ones I'll manage to take back to the Netherlands this trip, but we shall see. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed flicking through this with me. Thanks so much for watching. I will hopefully be more regular with videos once I'm back in the Netherlands, which will be next week. Um, in the meantime, I've got lots of videos on my channel you can go and watch if you want to catch up on anything. And I will see you on Wednesday with a new video. Take care. Bye.